Product managers will be right in the middle of most of the big products and services of the future. And anyone can become a PM, irrespective of background and education. Here's why you should be a product manager. What is going on everybody? Welcome to another video. My name is Alex. On this channel, we talk about product management career, crushing your PM interview, and getting better at product skills. By the end of this video, you're gonna know whether or not a product management career is right for you. If you like this video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also sign up for my free practical product management newsletter, link in the description below, where I give you my personal product insights and best practices to make you a better product manager. First of all, a quick review. What actually is product management? Work with various people and groups to provide the right product or service such that, first of all, your customer's happy, and second of all, your business is profitable. That's the product manager's core job. This includes figuring out what the customer's problem Problems are, how important are they, prioritizing them, actually delivering a solution or a product that solves their problems, ideally in a way that aligns with your company's mission, and also so that your business actually makes a profit and continues to grow. Now, why is this awesome? First of all, it is available to almost everybody. Almost anybody can be a PM. Second of all, this career is gonna remain in high demand for the continued future. Every company that is building a product or services or will be building a product or service or improving a product or service is going to need product managers to actually oversee that process. Sure, if you're a crafty startup owner, you can be your own product manager and engineer and everything all at once. But the reality is the bigger the product or service, the bigger the problem being solved, the more likely you're going to have more and more product managers involved to oversee every element of that product to make sure it's as successful as it can be. Also, you could just do a search on Google Trend and find out how popular the word product manager and product management term has been in the last five years. And you'll see that it's the most popular it's ever been. And the reason that's the case is that there's more people are finding out about the career and also more companies are in need of product managers and also in need of better product managers. A lot of product managers sort of fall into the career and eventually find out that they've been product managers all along as they've been building different businesses or startups or just playing other business critical roles in other companies. They realize that that's actually product management. So the earlier you are in your career or maybe you're still in college or maybe you're still in high school is a great time to find out about product management and see if it may be for you. Compensation is another reason. There's two reasons why it's highly compensated career. Number one, it's in demand. Everyone's going to need it. A lot of companies are going to need product managers, especially good product managers. Secondly, a lot of product management is needed in the field of tech. And in tech, everything is scaled. And wherever things are scaled, there's the potential for outsized profit because you're just delivering your product to more users and customers than ever before possible in history. Because of that, the likelihood that more wealth is going to be created with a business that uses product managers is higher than in a traditional business. Another reason high variability of work. It's rarely boring. You're always doing something different. You're either investigating customer problems, talking with customers, or even figuring out what they want by their behavior as opposed to what they tell you. You're working with cross-functional groups, engineers, designers, salespeople, marketing, support, customer enablement, hardware, software. You're working with so many different types of problems. It tends to be interesting. Here's another important one. The skills you pick up while being a product manager are transferable to nearly anything else that you try to do. They're certainly applicable in business and startups, but also in finances and wealth building, as well as health and fitness, and even family, parenting, and relationship building. Another reason I alluded to earlier is that product management career allows you to have the opportunity to have outsized impact. For better or worse, by the way, product management gives you the opportunity to influence many, many more people than maybe with a more traditional career option. Now, I said that influence and impact, I didn't say make their lives better or improve their lives because unfortunately the reality is that you can be a product manager and deliver actually impactful things that are not great for people. And actually we have quite a bit of that right now in tech. That doesn't mean you have to do that. In your case, it could be that you actually help more people. You have the ability to influence more people positively. Also, there are two ways that you could reach this goal of influencing lots of people. Option number one, you could actually work on a product that has a positive impact on the world and a positive impact on people. Option number two, and this is the more likely scenario to be perfectly honest with you, is that you will just create enough wealth for yourself through the product management career so that you could hopefully work on more impactful things where you could actually impact people for the better and have a positive influence on a lot of other people. Finally, product management career tends to be technology focused. So you generally focused on the latest technology and usually stay up to date on everything that's happening in the world of technology. 
Now, how do you know if you should actually be a product manager? Let me give you a very specific guide. This is battle tested. If you answer these questions, the more of these you match, the more likely product management is a match for you. If you don't match all of these, that doesn't mean product management is wrong for you, but it's something to keep in mind. Number one, if you like building and tinkering with things, generally product managers tend to be tinkerers and builders, whether that's hardware, software, anything in between, or a combination of both, they do tend to be interested in creating something from nothing. And that is also the second second point, which is growing a business or a product from nothing to something, from zero to one. If you enjoy the ambiguity and the general confusion that comes with building something from zero to one, then you're going to enjoy product management. If you like working with people and are energized by interacting with people, this is an important one. I'm not going to lie. If you don't match this, product management may not be right for you. If you like working on a team, nothing can be built by one person in today's world. Working on a team is a core part of product management, so you've got to love that. Not a lot of lone wolves around here. If you like technology, that's another important one. And if you like to be useful, if you like to help people. That may sound cliche, but it's an important part of product management and it sustains a lot of PMs when the going gets tough. If you enjoy thinking about behavioral questions, such as what does this person want or what are the problems that exist for this group of people? If you want to help humanity in general, another caveat here, often, especially in early career, the reality is that a lot of PM roles don't align particularly well with humanity's best interests or even individual best interests. If we can even agree on a concept such as objective best interests. If you like multitasking and working on a lot of different things at the same time, I don't mean actual multitasking, I just mean handling a lot of different things simultaneously. I don't really believe true multitasking is possible for most people anyway, but having a lot of things going on at the same time, sort of even just the mental load of it, that's a big part of the job. If you like problem solving, especially with groups of other people, especially on complex and thorny problems, then product management's for you. If you are tenacious and do not give up easily, that's part of the job. And finally, if you like to lead, but not command. PMs are unofficial leaders that usually don't have any real authority, but nonetheless, they very much do lead organizational and product team. All right, now how to know if you should not be a PM. If you find yourself matching these qualities, maybe product management is not for you. You prefer to work alone and undisturbed for the majority of the day. That just doesn't happen for product managers. Look, product managers definitely say that they love to do deep work, but the reality is, especially in a big company, it's just not going to be possible to be doing deep work for the majority of the time. You like to do one thing at a time. This is actually an awesome quality to do one thing at a time, see it through and finish it before starting the next one, but the reality is that's not going to be possible for product managers. They're always going to be doing a lot of different things. Sure, you can have a focus, sure, you can have a primary thing, but you're not really going to be in a situation where you're truly only doing one thing. You're not passionate about technology. That should be an obvious one. That's not really a great fit, but I don't think you'd be watching this video if that's the case. Finally, if you're not a people person, quote from Office Space, we kind of alluded to this when you prefer to work by yourself, you don't really get energized by people. And I'm not just right away saying that if you are an introvert or have qualities of an introvert, that means product management is wrong for you. No, that's not the case. The majority of the work is interaction with other humans. So you just have to keep that in mind. Whatever method of communication you use and you prefer, be aware that product management has a ton of communication built in by design. Finally, why I think anyone can be a PM. There's no particular education background that's necessary. A lot of PMs tend to come from computer science, tech, or economics, or business, but that's really not required. A lot of PMs tend to have MBAs, but it's not required. You can pick up all the skills that you need from informational videos like this one, courses, books, and of course, on the job, doing something yourself, building something, project, demonstration, concept, a small business, a small venture, startup, some side hustle, really anything like that. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the little bell if you have not done that, that's important as well. And of course, sign up for my practical product management newsletter, link in the description below, so you and I can be in touch. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Swim back, swim back, swim back, swim it back, swim it back, swim it back. It only goes back. I don't know why. I'm trying to, I can only swim back. Swim back. Uh, I've left this off.